No. Partita. Hello everybody, we are here again with a new episode of our uh, talk show on uh, the Nemesis Metaverse uh, and of course with me, Amelia Tomasicchio, CEO and uh, co-founder of uh, Cryptonomist. And uh, this time we are um, interviewing the NFT artist uh, Too Much Luck. Thank you so much for the, your time for this interview. Thank you so much for having me. Um, so, um, how did you start with, with NFTs? When and how? What, uh, what bring you the interest to, to start this, uh, th your career in this field? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, a, it's a few years back, but I started NFTs in September 2020, um, a little bit earlier than the big craze, but I would say part of the first wave of newcomers after the so like OGs in the, in the uh, 2017, 2018 years. Um, I stumbled upon NFTs quite randomly. I was, uh, I was working on like personal art uh, for Instagram because with COVID, uh, as everyone had to go through like the lockdown. So people um, had less work. A lot of people lost their jobs. Uh, I was a freelance in advertising so I was working a lot with brands and events and uh, with COVID, all of that sort of like slowed down quite a lot. So I had, I had a lot more time, um, free time to work on personal project. So I started this uh, Instagram page called uh, Too Much Lag, uh, which then became uh, my name. Um, but I started this page as like a test, personal like test for fun, posting some of my works instead of posting um, client works. Then I followed the steps of um, some of the famous guys like people that were posting every days uh, in 3D. They were doing this every days where basically one artwork, uh, one image or a video every day um, consistently. And uh, I, I tried to do the same, which pushed um, my creativity quite a lot because you have to wake up every day and come up with a new idea, execute the piece and post it. It's very challenging, especially at the beginning when you're not super fast with the, with the software. It's, it's very challenging, but it was a lot of fun. And uh, through that, my Instagram page picked up quite a lot quickly at the beginning. I ended up working with some musicians and um, found success in like personal work. So for the first time I was doing art rather than commission jobs or advertising or like uh, execution executing someone else's vision i was doing my vision and um because of that i i had a lot more time to research and i was already in crypto i started crypto in 2016 2017 but like trading uh, not art um and um somehow i stumbled upon rarible i think the first platform that i saw and uh, i was like what is this um they are doing something with art and crypto together. I was already doing crypto and I was already doing art, but I was like, I never saw the, the, the connection somehow. Um, and then, yeah, on Rarible, I realized that they were minting images on Ethereum blockchain. And I was like, oh, well, this is very interesting. This is, uh, this is, this is going to be, this is going to be big. And I, uh, I think I minted my first piece the same day that I found out about this. Um, the Rarible. And it, on Rarible, I minted uh, a one one. I didn't. I didn't even know what I was doing. But I already had Ethereum wallets. Like I already had everything ready. So I just had to like literally connect to the website and and mint. And um, I sold the piece like right away for like twenty or thirty dollars. I think someone mm -hmm. was just buying everything that was getting minted because it was so early, and because obviously no one knew me at that point. And um, and it sold. And then I was like, wait, someone just paid $30 for, for a file, uh, a digital file, which I can, I can literally copy paste to make another one. Um, so I, I was, I was a bit shocked and, um, I started digging, I started digging into NFTs and then I became completely obsessed with it. I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put all my effort into, into this. And so what, what, what happened next? What's, uh, with the main project uh, uh, you were working on after the first uh, mint? Mm -hmm. So from, from there, everything kind of spiraled uh, into exploration. I wanted, uh, 
like myself, I, I did a few tests at the beginning. So I, I minted works that I already had, had produced and I, I just saw what, what would happen. I, I think I did a couple editions. I even burned some of the pieces because I minted and then I, I, I didn't like, I understood what I was doing and I was like, mm, I don't want to have so many pieces out. So I burned some. Um, so at the beginning, it was a lot of experimenting and trial and error and figuring out what to do. But eventually I realized um, this could have become my job. So I could literally pursue art as a career rather than like making animation for someone else. Um, and being an artist is something that before was really unique. Like you would go to school to become an artist and then follow a traditional path, go to galleries. Like it, it would take so long. So for many people, the idea to leave off their work, pure art, it, it's almost non-existent. People are like, uh, are you going to be an artist or you're going to be poor your whole life, right? It's not a job. You need to find the actual job. Go go to the, get a nine to five in a bank and, and make money that way. Um, so I come from a business background too. And uh, I was like, okay, this is giving me some money. But at the beginning, it was re very little money. But I saw the potential that it could have been in the future. I was like, this could sustain. Even if it's just enough to sustain myself, then I'm doing art that I like, like this is the dream job, even if it pays very little. Um, so I wasn't quite attracted by the money itself. I was attracted by the idea of being able to live off my work, my art. So no more clients, no more jobs, but like pr create something that actually has meaning for me. So I, I started thinking about myself as too much luck rather than myself as Stefan and um, create sort of like a persona, an identity and a direction of the project. I was like, okay, since I'm, some people support my work, I should put as much effort as I can to make my work the best uh, that it can be. And um, I should tell my story through, through my work. So I started actually putting effort in the art that I was creating. Because for Instagram before, it was more of like a like chase kind of game. You know, you would make a piece to get a lot of likes on Instagram. So people would, like it, you get more followers and your page would grow. So you would get yeah. more clients, but you, you wouldn't not necessarily be interested in the piece you were doing. Maybe you would see a trend or something was, uh, let's say it's Halloween. So you do an Halloween themed piece, but maybe you don't like Halloween, right? You just follow likes. And for the first time with NFTs, I was like, I don't want to follow likes. I want to just do what I want because some people support me anyway. And, and, and I can, so I started doing that and then, I still do that to this day. So I'm developing my, my work as a project with a story, with a narrative. Um, now, now I'm in, lucky enough to have a community behind the people that support me and are passionate about the project. So the project is taking more, um, more of a, um, a substance to it, more of a structure. So the project that I'm working now is literally too much lag. I have some like sub project, for example, Le Anime is more of a, a, a branch of what I'm doing, which is, um, it's an edition that I did um, at some point, well, I'll get to this later, um, that there's a community around this, this specific edition. Um, but the whole project is basically, I'm creating a journey. I'm creating a journey in a fantasy world, um, my fantasy world that now is becoming the community fantasy world. So I get inputs from, from people that are passionate about the work. And we're creating um, a, basically a, a magical world of, um, heroes and, and, and like landscapes and, and imaginary word and, 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 and stories with magic. So it's very nerdy. It's very video gamey. Um, but I love it. Uh, I love it. So it pushes me every day to, when I make a new piece, I get really excited. And then now I start thinking about, um, because there is a word that I, I I've been creating so far, it's getting bigger and bigger when I do a new piece, I think, okay, how does it fit into this world? Um, for example, my last piece was a library, you could say, um, but there's a story behind it and there is a place for the library to be in the story. Um, so it's a mix of making a, a, an art piece that I like, that looks good as a single piece that you put on your wall, you look at it and you're like, this looks sick. You, don't need, to, you don't need to know the story if you don't want, you can just look at a piece and like, oh, this is cool. Uh, but if you want, then there's a story behind it, so you can go deeper and deeper. Um, so cool. And uh, I also saw on your on your Instagram uh, that you did a collaboration with uh, Will Smith uh, a while uh, a while ago. So I, of course, I'm curious about it. 
So please <laughs> tell us more about this. Uh, how, how, how did you start this collaboration? How did you, you get to know him? Mm -hmm. The collaboration with Will Smith was so random and so much fun. Basically, at some point uh, when I was posting these every day, um, I received a message from, um, from Will Smith in my email. So he sent me an email and the message went something like, hey, I love your work. Uh, I love these words you're doing with these golden gods because I do a lot of like fantasy words with this these ominous creatures, human beings with clothing and gold, gold colors, black, gold and white is very recurrent theme in my work. Um, so I had these strong visuals and the, the, the email went something like, hey, I love your work, love your these golden gods. Uh, can we do something um, with that uh, for me, um, a collaboration? And I was like, this, this is obviously this fake. Is fake. Like, <laughs> this is fake. This is, <laughs> this is a scam. I received like so many so many email every day and imagine like, i was like why is will smith texting me and i i had I, I wasn't big at all like i'm still not big at all but i had like maybe maybe ten thousand followers in instagram so it's it's nothing much and i was like there's no way will smith is texting me right so i ignored it i ignored it and for like two or three months I didn't think about it and then i received another email and this time it's from the company uh westbrook media and they're like, hey, look, there's uh, one of our clients and they were referring to Will Smith wants to work with you. And and they repeated like the idea with the golden god and stuff. And I was like, that this, this still has to be fake. So I ignored it again. <laughs> and then they messaged me on Instagram from the Will Smith page. And then I was like, okay, this, at, maybe at this, point, this is obvious. real. <laughs> I, I was like, this, maybe this is this real. This is actually right? for real. This is literally him. And and then I was like, holy fuck, I just ignored Will Smith for like four months. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that that was that was quite funny. And eventually, yeah, when I realized it was real, I literally stopped doing everything I was doing. I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. Um, he wanted to make a, just one image for like with me does a lot of work with digital artists uh, especially in the past i don't know about now that the, the situation is a bit spicy but um especially back in the days he did so many collaboration with digital artists because for him it's free content for his social media and for the artist it's obviously a lot of exposure because he has something like 60 million followers so it's a big spotlight so artists are and obviously he's will smith he's done like prince of bel-air men in black like he's, he's a legend in his own in, in his own right and um so I was really excited about it. And he said, let's do it with just one image. Um, it would be super sick. But obviously I do animation a lot. And then I have this tools in, in, in my toolbox. And I was like, wait, I have the opportunity to work with Will Smith. I'm going to do the sickest video I can. Um, so I made an animation and, and the animation is, I still like it to this day. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we, we did back and forth. I sent him a video. I remember it was quite funny because I, I, I had to film myself because the animation at the beginning has his face as like so, sort of like a TikTok style where he opens the phone and he's like, oh, hey, come check this out. So he's talking to the camera and I needed him to do that. And I was like, we have to do it like this. So it's your face. It's not just a 3D. It's going to go a lot better. So I had to film myself saying, uh, hey, come check. I had to do his part, right? And then I sent yeah. it to him. And I had to direct him uh, what to say and what to do. And I was like, I'm literally directing Will Smith. This is so sick. <laughs> and then he sent me his video where he did it. And it was it was an amazing experience. So much fun. He's a super nice person, super chill. And um, I, I posted a video, he posted a video on his page and it, it went really well. So everyone was really happy. And uh, it's been, yeah, it's been fun. Very random, very fun. Uh, by an exciting, you exciting collaboration. You ignored him for four months. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. L luckily, he continued to text you. Mm, absolutely, and yeah. He could have just yeah, ignored it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and apart from uh, from this, which is uh, pretty big, of course, um, what are the other highlights of your NFT career so far? Mm -hmm. Okay, huh, that's a that's a bit of a tough one. But um, there's been a few moments that have really s sort of like set in stone in my journey so far um i can think i can think of like a few definitely the biggest like game changing moment for me was when i did my first nifty drop in march 2021 uh, i did a nifty gateway drop and i released this edition called le anime which was at the time very revolutionary it was an edition that to put it very shortly an edition is a, 
uh, for who doesn't know, but most people probably know, but just to go over it uh, very quickly, an edition is basically like a, like an edition of posters. So you have one image and then you have a lot of the same image, but they have different numbers, one, two, three, four, five hundred, exactly. Mm -hmm. And Nifty was famous for doing this open edition system where for a short amount of time, everyone that wanted to buy one could buy one. So this open edition didn't have a cap. So it, it, it could be like in five minutes, you can meet 10, you can meet a hundred or you can meet a thousand. And obviously it, this was a game changing moment for the industry at the time. And some people don't quite see in the traditional world because that's in practicality, it's not really feasible, but with digital that, that can really happen very quickly. Um, so I did this open edition and it sold 1,500 copies of this edition, which for me, um, as a as a room artist, so I was at home on my own, like uh, with not much to my name, it completely changed my life. And and that moment definitely was one of the highlights um, of my career so far. And with that edition, it was super cool because basically we, we did through smart contracts, we did a twist where every edition that you had so if you had number one or number two or number five you would get the same image but you would also get a custom character that was different for every edition so this was the first time this was done and it, it, it obviously made a lot of noise in the in the in the industry back then so it went really well um that was definitely one of the biggest highlights that then led to the, the anime community and a big chunk of my project right now um we're building a comic for it we're building words we're building um We'll talk about it, but we've been fashion stuff. Like I'm doing a lot of uh, related to this edition. Um, so it's really, really exciting. Another huge moment was my first time in New York. Uh, I had never been to New York before. Uh, and thanks to NFT, I got to go to New York, uh, like NFT NYC in, in 2021. My art was on the, on, on, on the, on the buildings in Times Square and like uh, all around the city. I was in a, a lot of exhibitions with, for me, like that was insane. That was a, I've been an artist for like two years at that point. It, it was almost like surreal. And then from there, it led to have my art exhibited in like museum in Milan, at Dart, um, in, in Miami and in other like huge cities. So a lot of, a lot of uh, stuff that I, I would never believe. I was like, this is like my work is going in the museum. It's not, um, some company that made out something big. It's literally my stuff is going. So it, that was, um, that was absurd. And then I sold a, a piece of Christie's this year in the summer. Um, Christie's for who doesn't know, it's like one of the biggest auction houses of art in the world. So you can't really go much higher than that in terms of like recognition. And obviously that was, uh, that was pretty, pretty, pretty crazy. Um, there's and a lot more yeah. highlights. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, there's a lot more highlights that I could bring in, like that are not sort of like success based, like that. They're more like like community based or like super epic moments. But um, I'll keep those for like the people that want to like dig in 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 and come discover more about me. And right now, what are you you working on? What's uh, what are your future projects? So now um, I'm working a lot on continuing the story for the anime world and for for um, too much like the brand itself. So there's a lot of developing behind the scene that is being put in. Um, I have a few new pieces that are in the works that I'm really, really excited about. I just released a a new piece, a new one, one of one on Super Rare. So very, uh, very special piece for me with the library that I was mentioning before has smart contracts, so it has mechanics, because a lot of my work has mechanics that are possible only with the blockchain. So they're not possible in traditional art. Um, I'm, I'm, I sort of like paused for a bit on doing like single pieces that had these crazy mechanics, because I was focusing on building the anime um, project, which has mechanics, gamified, interactive capabilities so you can build your own characters you can customize them all of that took so long but i'm super excited about it because obviously it's stuff that not many people are doing so it's really exciting to be one of the few that are discovering certain paths uh, even though sometimes they really suck everything out of you like your life your time uh, but it's it's well worth it in the end so now i have a few new pieces coming out i have a new nifty drop coming out in a few weeks um, with some really cool mechanics and so basically i'm still working on making new art with new narratives and, and new inter abilities and now i'm i'm starting to 
sort of like dabbled in stuff that is not necessarily my art. So like I was saying fashion, comics, so I'm collaborating with other artists. I have a few big collaborations that are coming out soon that I'm super excited about that I can't say anything about it, but with really, really big names in the in the scene and, and that's just like a dream come true. And so there's a lot, there's a lot to come uh, and I'm really excited about it. So I suggest everyone to follow you on Instagram. So uh, we will be able to, to check what are these uh, collaborations about. Um, so thank you so much really for your time and uh, good you. luck really for your thank future, you. thank you. your career. Thank you so much, Amelia. Thank you so much. Uh, and I really appreciate everything uh, that you are doing for the space and for artists like me. So thank thank you. you. And uh, thank you, everybody, for watching us. Um, of course, you'll be able to find this uh, video in case you want to, to share with friends and to watch it again on Cryptonomist on YouTube in uh, like a few days. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye, Bye everyone.